Well, good Wednesday morning to you folks. Uh, I had something on my mind um, last night and I thought I would share it with you today. Hopefully you had a good night's rest and things are going well with you. Uh, maybe you're getting ready for a service tonight. If you attend our church, we hope to, to see you if you feel like coming out and being with us. But if not, you can watch online, of course, uh, on YouTube and on Facebook. I want to uh, share with you a piece of scripture from the book of Deuteronomy in chapter 11. Moses here telling the people of God's goodness, telling the people uh, of the good things that God has done for uh, the children of Israel, reminding them. And I think it's important that we are reminded of things. And he uh, says to them, um, therefore, in verse 18 of chapter 11, Shall ye lay up these my words in your heart and in your soul and bind them for a sign upon your hand that they may be as frontlets between your eyes. And ye shall teach them to your children, speaking of them when thou sittest in thine house and when thou walkest by the way, when thou liest down and when thou risest up. And thou shalt write them upon the doorpost of thine house and upon thy gates. He's talking about the goodness of God and how it is important for uh, these people that he's talking to to share that story, that history of the goodness of God with not only their children, but their children's children, their children and their grandchildren, uh, and of course for generations. And um, I thought, uh, as I was thinking about this last night, um, you know, I, I miss my grandparents. Uh, I never met my grandfather, John Bastine, never got to meet him. Uh, but my grandmother, Gert, I miss her. And uh, my my grandpa, my Lute, or George Lute, and Oma Bell Lute, my grandmother, I miss them. And I think about them often. And uh, sometimes uh, it makes me smile. Sometimes it brings tears to my eyes of how foolish that I have been uh, in my lifetime to have just went ahead, gone on, living life, working, doing whatever it was that was so important that I failed to share and spend more time with them. But but my grandparents weren't um, strong Christian people, and they, they weren't until the last part of their life for, for my grandmother and grandfather, Lute, I got to a witness to both of them and got to pray with them and I thank God for that. My grandmother Vastine, um, when my dad and my uncle uh, were converted, were saved, um, uh, she of course then uh, became a Christian but after a while drifted and, and shortly before she passed I remember being in a service with her uh, at Community Bible Church where my uncle pastored and I remember her coming and praying. And right before she passed away, I remember having a conversation with her in the hospital and she told me that she was afraid. And I said, are you afraid uh, to die or are you afraid? And she said, I just want to make sure I'm right with God. And I remember saying to her, I know, uh, Granny, that uh, in your mind is going to be the place that Satan fights. God has your heart and Satan can't get that. You've given that to God, I said, but I don't believe Satan will ever stop battling the mind. And so I have those memories of my grandparents. If I think of, uh, of my parents and my grandparents, I think of people uh, that have left an influence on me and the memory uh, of the things that I've been taught about God. And I think it's important to teach. And I know we've taught our children. I don't know at this point in their life what they are doing with the things that Teresa and I have taught them, but they've been taught in church. They've been taught in the home. I think of our grandchildren as well. And, and of everything that I could teach my children and my grandchildren, it would be... Um, to give God your heart and to serve him with all of your heart. Uh, the more wicked this world becomes, the more I look and think, wow, what will it be when they are teenagers, which won't be long from now. <laughs> it seems like it happens overnight. What will it be like uh, when I'm gone and they're left here and raising their children if the Lord allows that time? But I think of that scripture, how important it was for Moses to tell the children of Israel to don't let these words fail. Even 
put them before your eyes so you could see them. What he was saying was keep this in your mind at all times and share it with your children and your children's children. Why? The people that you love the most, make sure that they know. I thought of a <clears throat> of a song that I hadn't sang for a while, but um, I also thought of Precious Memories. That's a great song of memories of people that have went on before. But uh, uh, I worked with a guy once who told me he had 14 brothers and sisters. <laughs> Un unbelievable to me, but I know there are many of you that will watch this and will share that, yes, you've had a lot as well. But he said he had 14 brothers and sisters and he never knew what it was like to sleep alone till he got married. <laughs> he said the first time he and his wife got into an argument, she said, you're sleeping on the couch. Before that, he was always uh, sleeping with brothers and sisters because there were so many of them. But uh, this song um, just stirs up good memories for me. And that's why I learned it in the first place. And maybe it will for you as well. There's 60 years of marriage in that picture. Grandpa with his darling by his side Eight kids standing proud and smiling shyly Grandma and Grandpa busting there with pride There's lots of things you don't see in that picture The lines on Grandma's face don't show the pain a little tombstone out behind the cabin There's more that holds this picture than the frame See that Bible on the bedside table See that handmade quilt there on the bed See those calloused hands around my grandma They've always worked to keep his family fed. Look close and you will see that old wax candle. At times it seems I feel the warming flame. And listen, you can almost hear them praying. There's more that holds this picture than the frame. See that Bible on the bedside table. See that handmade quilt there on the bed. See those calloused hands around my grandma. They always work to keep his family fed. They always work to keep his family fed. Probably, uh, I don't know, two or three months ago, I, I went uh, to visit one of my dad's cousins, uh, which would be my cousin as well, of course. Uh, and she allowed me to take some pictures and so I used my camera and took pictures and then physically took some that she had to give to me of my grandparents and um, uh, great-grandparents and uh, it's quite moving to look at that and wonder what kind of life they experienced and what was going through their mind uh, on a day-to-day -day basis and how different life may have been for them uh, as it is for us today uh, just like bringing someone from a hundred years ago back today they would probably not believe what their eyes would see and sometimes i wonder uh, my dad used to say he felt like he was born uh, at a wrong time he should have been born in the 30s or so he loved to read good old day magazines and and read poetry and listen to the old singers and things like that I sometimes wonder what life would have been back then. We can read books about it and see movies about it, but I wonder what it would have been like to walk through that little town of McDermott where I came from. I know folks would say, what a beautiful little town and a booming little town. And, um, and things do change over time. Uh, one thing that never changes is God. And the thing that is important is that we teach our children. 
Uh, folks, we need to teach our children to love other people. We need to teach them to be good moral citizens, good moral people. But man, we need to teach them to love God. And of all things, more than money, more than fame or wealth or anything, we need to teach them to love God and to give their heart to God. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us. God, I pray that you would bless, Lord, today. I pray for um, for, for my mother, uh, Betty, and for my mother-in-law, Bessie. God, I pray for my children. I pray for my grandchildren, Emma and Gage and, and Addie. Uh, God, that you would bless them today and you would help them to take the teaching that they've been taught by uh, Teresa and I and by their grandparents all the way around and also uh, by their parents. God, help them to understand that a relationship with God is of utmost importance. Lord, I thank you for the memories I have. God, I pray that you would bless my children and grandchildren to cherish some of the same memories that uh, they were first told of the love of God and the love of Christ around uh, the dinner table or, or sitting in the living room or at the church with their parents and grandparents. Lord, we love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, folks. See you Thursday. <laughs>